Okay. Welcome back to ReZero Anime Review, episode number 46. This one is basically, actually, this is this is this is 34. Review, reviewing the 46th episode of the anime, the reunion, the reunion of Howling, the Howling of Reunions. That's kind of what this episode was called in Crunchyroll. Yep, this episode adapts from the last three chapters of Book 14, which means yeah, they pretty much finished Book 14. Yeah, it took a bit of time for this one. Yeah, I thought that was quite interesting to see this one. Now this one. It seems like we're getting close to the end of this arc because we only got one book left to adapt to this arc, and that's it. Now, as far as I've heard, I've not heard anything exactly when the actual end date is or, like, how many episodes the season's supposed to have. It was presumed by a lot of people that the season would have 25 episodes, like the first season, and that's looked like it's the case, unless, of course, they decide to adapt the very next arc for the series. Which, I highly doubt it. Not at this point, anyways. Now, this episode pretty much kind of continues with last week's episode. Where it's all, not in flashback. No more flashbacks this episode. This is all like, okay, mostly put with this one. We start off with Subaru. Yes, Subaru. Now, we mostly put, like, kind of wrap some stuff up here and there. While also set up the very end of this uh, arc, per se. First, let's start with Millie. We see her briefly in the episode talking to Rem, where she tells Rem that Subaru confessed to her, and, like, she wondered if it was a lie, and, according to Rem, nope, he didn't lie about that. He generally does care about her, and rest assured, it almost like they grew closer as friends, these two, and then Roz or Shelf almost spoil the party, spoil the mood, and here's the thing. During the conversation between Amelia and Roswell. He she basically tightens the grip on her on her when, when she's holding Ram's hand. And the thing is, Ram doesn't mind it because she's a freaking demon. Yes. So, of course, before this, basically, we you see Ram kneeling before Amelia and talk about how she will soon throne and basically also she will get Roswell's wish. Basically, he'll set him straight. And, they, and then the Rosal conversation happens where Emilia points out that a lot of what he said is complete bullcrap. Yeah, where he says, oh yeah, it's Subaru and I are alike. And he's just like, no, you are not. You are not alike at all. And after this brief conversation, and then we see Ram has decided to, well, even though she was told by Roswell to stay there away from Emilia, she is saying to use her clairvoyance to fo follow Roswell to... Of all places, the facility where Rezu Mayor is kept. Before I continue this point, because this actually, there's actually been a setup for this one. We see that Subaru, Garfield, and Roswell decided to go to the mansion to stop what to stop Elsa and her partner, which we actually know. Well, if you saw the previous episode, it's actually somebody who knows Petra. Yep, knows Petra. So. They take a riding dragon over there with the carriage, basically hitch a ride. And of course, Tansi will stay there. Unlike the first time when he left, he took him with him. Take him all home. This time, this is the second time I could think of, the third time I think of, where he took outside the sanctuary. And this time, he brings not only Otto with him, but he also brings Garfield with him. Because it points out, though, he's of mixed blood. He could pass the beard, no problem at all. Because before, basically, it was like, oh, he couldn't because basically he was hesitant. But now, no problem, Bob, because he passed this portion of the trial for him. He overcome his past, which is kudos for him to do. And then we see Petra. Of course, before Subaru leaves, he gives Rem a jewel, which plays a play later. And that jewel has got Puck in it. Yes, the return of Puck. First time in a few episodes we've seen him. Ever since he pretty much damaged... Amelia's jewel, and then she and then he and Ram start basically their big brawl with with Roswell. Who wants to basically let it snow in the sanctuary? You probably think now the phrase is let let it rain. Here it's like let let it snow because he wants to make it snow in the sanctuary. And Ram's like, 
no, you're not going to do that because Puck and I got beat the crap out of you. <laughs> That's, I'm, I'm just basically thinking... Like, saying what she probably would, would have said. So they start their brawl, and that's not continued until a little later. Meanwhile, though, we have this also, we have really cool when we see L Lil Petra basically running her PJs to the man to run away from Elsa. And he's like, oh no, I'm worried about, about Rem. And she goes back through, and there is Eliza. First time in a few, ep first time in a while we've seen her. Like, yes. It feels as though it's been over 10 episodes we last saw her. Like, damn, it's really been a while. Like, and of course, she's walking to the mansion in her sexy outfit. And then, luck enough that, of course, Federica is there to protect her. So, yeah, go get the... Like, oh yeah, I'm here to get the two, the two maids and the spirit. Forgetting the fact there's another woman in the mansion. Yeah, there are four people in this mansion. Yeah, Roswell didn't consider Rem as poss as a target. Yeah, because it was revealed a couple of episodes back that Roswell was the one who was sending her to the mansion. Yes. As a test. So, we have this really cool moment. Okay, so, Federica is battling her for a while. And she points out, though, why are you aiming for my belly? And... Eliza is like, because I'm the bow hunter. That's why. And then we see Petra running through the halls, wanting where basically worried about Frederica because she calls for Subaru, and there's Subaru, just happily there. Yeah, we got there really quickly. And he's like, okay, I didn't come alone this time. I came with some super powered reinforcements. And while Frederica's battling, she's about to like lay a blow on her belly, and then Garfield is there with two shields, basically. And when he sees Federica, because he has seen her, like, he's like, damn, you got big. <laughs> and then she kicks him. I thought that was so funny. I'm surprised she didn't say, he didn't say, damn, you got, you got big chest. Because, <laughs> well, she's like 23, and he's like 14. She's, he's only about, she's only about nine years older than he is, but damn. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. And they argue for a bit, it's like, and she's like, can we, can we uh, put a hold on this happy reunion and let me try to kill you? And they're like, okay. But I'm the one thing. He's like doing this with his shield, which I thought was really cool. I showed the fact he's a really powerful shield. And he's going to be one taking on Eliza. Which, this is so awesome. I love the way this episode ended. Like with, with, with that particular scene. And the credits are still rolling. If you're curious to how long this episode is, this is 29 and a half minutes. One thing I've noticed, though, for the second half of the season, like, the first half are about 26 to 27 episodes, mid episodes, mid episodes. This half is almost 30 minutes, which I think is great. Gives plenty of time for the story to breathe. And this is by far, out of all the episodes ever so far in the second half, this is the best episode by far in terms of action. In terms of dialogue, the last, like, that's one thing you definitely got praised with the series. It's got really good dialogue. The writing of the series is fantastic. Everything about the series is, this uh, series is really good. And it's considered by a lot of people to be, when it comes to live invitations, the best, one, one, one of the best, and one of the few actually sticks close to the sword material, except doing its own thing. There's some minor hiccups here and there, mostly, but it stays pretty faithful to what they present here, which I thought was really good. Mm hmm. Yeah, two battles in the episode, which was really awesome. Yep. But not much else to say. Good episode. Can't wait for episode 47. It's coming next week. Yep. Which I think that either one thing, they're going to finish up chapter 14 and start the last chapter, which is basically just chapter 7. They're going to finish the chapter, just adapt it for next week, or they're going to finally start adapting book 15, a book that's going to release next week. Yes, next week is when book 15 finally gets released here. And it's quite strange, though, that the day after the book is released here, probably that the first episode, which is going to air next week, is going to be the first episode that adapts that book. Even though they're probably in Japan, they've read it for some time now, here in the U.S., it's just coming out next week. Yep. When I would say this about it, Good. Okay, so that's a particular review. Next view is a movie review. We're talking about Blade 2. And in the top of this episode, related anime. I'll discuss that soon. Okay, this next video. Bye.